Hi, hope you're doing well, having a great time with your family. Well, looks like we have a problem here. This is, what's his name? Joseph Bayana, who was recently eliminated from Dancing with the Stars. And he's going into a movie role called Bully High. Now he's complaining that when he was young, he was bullied because he was overweight. I don't believe him. I think he's making this up because he needs some publicity. When you are sired by Arnold Schwarzenegger, you have great genes. And anyone who bullies you, all you have to say is, well, I guess I take after my dad. And that pretty much shuts up any bully. And that didn't seem to be a big problem when he talked about his young years in the past. So I think he's just looking for an extension of publicity and something to talk about. And he felt his weight would be a good thing. Now the problem with kids like Joseph is he wants to claim his father as Arnold which is true he has the genetics of Arnold but he wasn't really fathered by Arnold he was fathered and mothered by his mother who was the housekeeper of Arnold Arnold, I don't think, ever really saw the boy after the news got out and he went to live with his mother. Now, I don't know if his mother, Mildred, ever went and got a um, new husband. I can imagine the husband she had when she was out having sex with Arnold was probably fairly disillusioned because now he has a son who is getting a lot of publicity and it's not his son. So I don't know whatever happened to Mildred's marriage, whether they stayed married or not, but here he is as a youth and certainly he doesn't look overweight. His legs certainly aren't overweight and so I think all of this was just something that he made up because he's looking for attention. He has to f finally realize that he's not a legitimate son of Arnold. He only has his genes and I think he understands that he is not a Schwarzenegger but he also mentally has to dissociate himself from the family because he as an illegitimate son will have to accept his role as the son of Mildred and whoever fathered him, if not Mildred. But it certainly wasn't Arnold. Now here's Joseph comparing himself to Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I think that's good if he wants to bodybuild. Arnold certainly has lots of tips to give him, lots of tricks that he learned along the way, lots of ways to make his muscles look bigger in photos, and jobs you can do to get paid by muscle development. But, you know, again, he has to kind of dissociate Arnold as his major father figure, because that was not who was his major parent. Here is a picture of Mildred. Oops. who was the person who slept with Arnold and she was the person who raised Joseph. And you can see he has kind of a funny build. He has a big chest and very short legs. Now Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a real big guy when you see him in person. So I'm not sure how Arnold Schwarzenegger's chest leg ratio works as compared to Joseph's, 
but again he has to accept that his genetics are going to be different than the Schwarzenegger family that's headed by Arnold and Maria before they got divorced when she found out that he was having that he had a child with the housekeeper she got a good settlement and he was put through school and a great college education by Arnold now we can see Joseph the little one with a brother let me see if I can get that picture better and you can see he has his arms up in doing rabbit ears and he probably looks like Mildred's husband and you can see Joseph looks very different and you can see Mildred is holding that boy for dear life she is very proud of the baby she had she got from Arnold and I think that that has stayed with Joseph and he has developed a closeness with Arnold that is out of proportion to his real relationship with the actor this is a movie that he's going to be in it's about a girl who wears a hajib and she's bullied in school this shows Joseph as he's saying goodbye after he is kicked off of look how hard he's squeezing that poor girl you can't give a huge hug like that to a girl and think that it feels good that's too strong but you know what can I say uh, she didn't say anything but I'm sure she was thinking get your hands off me now this is Joseph with Arnold you know in his senior years now by this time he's divorced he's had multiple heart surgeries he's exercising because he wants to keep his blood flowing through those new blood vessels and Joseph is trying to form some type of son father relationship with Arnold Arnold wants to support the guy so he does you know spend some time with him bicycle riding maybe going out to eat or something but they certainly don't have a full father-son relationship and I don't think Arnold really imparted any parts of his personality or his real habits and so forth into Joseph And then here's Joseph again trying to be like Arnold in the old days. So we'll see how far this gets Joseph trying to duplicate Arnold and his history. I don't think it's going to go far. But there is a question, what do you do with these kids that are sired by somebody but really don't have a real relationship? They're not really father-son or father-daughter. They are something else. Now, Nick Cannon has the same issue. He had children with Mariah Carey. At that time, she thought they were having a regular relationship a regular marriage and she had um, two children by Nick and then later Nick went out went crazy and abused Mariah by using her as the butt of jokes when he tried to enter into a comic career he wanted to be a comedian and he would talk about the private life that he had with Mariah 
and use that as the butt of jokes, which is terrible. He then went on to have some good entertaining shows and then went out and started having babies with various women. I think he has about 12, maybe 10, 12, something like that, babies from various women other than Mariah. And now these children are going to think that they were fathered by Nick Cannon, but that's not true. They were only sired by Nick, Nick Cannon, and he'll probably drop by here and there. They might get a note. They might get a dinner here and there, but certainly 10, 12, 14, who knows how many kids he's planning to have. They certainly won't have the relationship that a father is supposed to give to their child in order to say that Nick Cannon is my father. They're going to say, Nick Cannon gave me my genes and a whole bunch of other people the genes, but I rarely saw him. I was raised by my mother or a babysitter or whoever these women get to take care of these kids. The same would be true with a sperm donor. If you went to a sperm bank, you can get the sperm implanted and then you can go on and have a child by some man but certainly you can't call that man your father because he was not around to father you to raise you to give you his personality to share what he's learned over life to implant in you some of him and guide you through the years when you needed guidance he was merely a sperm donor so we need to find out a way to get these kids beyond thinking that these sperm donors are their fathers and so they can move on Nick Cannon's um, situation is putting all of those kids in the position where they're going to say Nick Cannon was their father. In one sense, yes, but in the general sense or in the more specific sense, no, he was not their father. He was just their sperm donor. So this is a question. How do we differentiate so that these kids can move on and don't feel that they are really fathered by these many, many sperm donors that are out there. I think Joseph has to move on. Arnold has officially wiped his hands clean of Joseph. Joseph, who's now 25, has been told he has to, you know, make his own living, do his own thing, not expect any more financing from Arnold because he is an adult and he's on his own. I think that's why he did Dancing with the Stars because it was a paying job and it kept him in the entertainment industry. But Arnold, I'm told, has officially cut ties with Joseph Biana and in a way has said go off and have a great life you know you have my sperm so what do you think of all this it's very confusing this is a modern problem well actually not it's been a problem or an issue for a long time but many people didn't really call these people their fathers for instance when people invaded other countries they raped and pillaged the women the women would have babies by the people who invaded, but they didn't call these people their fathers. It was something different. It was something different. Anyway, like and subscribe. Bye.